नॉन इन्फेक्टिवस डिजीज नॉन इन्फेक्टिवस डिजीज मेनली कॉज ड्यू टू पुअर इन्वायरमेंटल कंडीशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल लो डिसॉल्व ऑक्सीजन हाई अमोनिया हाई नाइट्रेट नेचुरल और मैन मीड टॉक्सीन रिजल्ट मोटैलिटी ऑफ फिशेज इन एक्वेटिक इन्वायरमेंट दे आर नॉन कॉन्टाजियस इन नेचर फिश डिजीज इज कॉज ड्यू टू द नॉन इन्फेक्शन दैट इज फर्स्ट इज गैस बबल डिजीज this mainly caused due to super saturation of dissolved gases like oxygen and nitrogen may be due to algal bloom or leak of pump or values in hatchery that causes oxygen deficiency at night and super saturation during the day sign and symptoms of the gall uh, gas bubble disease are affected fish shows bubble in eyes gill skin and mouth and also the swim bladder and exopithalamia clinical sign of gas bubble disease should not be confused with swim bladder stress syndrome because the bubble in the latter can be seen only in swim bladder effect on host death due to immobile uh, immobilism in blood edema and degeneration of gill lamellae bulging of eye cornea abrupt mass mortality what are the prevention of ga- in gas bubble disease in gas bubble disease uh, symptoms are monitor dissolve oxygen algal uh, avoid algal bloom maintain efficient operation of aeration pump sufficient water exchange that should be done in this uh, gas bubble disease the second disease due to uh, non infection that is swim bladder or stress syndrome it is also known as sbss it is associated with malfunction of swim bladder and also associated with handling high ambient temperature high illumination dense algal bloom that causes oxygen depletion in night and super saturation at day uh, sign and symptoms of the affected uh, this is affected fish shows large bubble of gas in reason anterior that is anterior dorsal outside the swim bladder uh, the f- effect on the host hyper inflation of swim bladder and high positive buoyancy the prevention and control for this disease that is swim bladder disease are filter rearing water cleaning of algal bloom provide strong aeration to maintain the larva beneath the water surface in hatchery tank the next one is alkalosis it occurs when water became too basic the sign and symptoms are the affected fish shows corroded skin and gill milky and turbidity of skin also occur due to alkalosis that is effect on uh, due to high basic condition what are the effect on the host fish with ick display each display tiny what white spot all over the body and the infected fish will often scratch themselves against the rock prevention and control are maintain the ph level and maintain the ph optimum level then other disease are acidolosis this may be because caused by drop in the ph level too low for the species sign and symptoms are the affected fish shows rapid swimming movement and gasping increase mucus secretion and death occur very quickly effect on host are uh, normal metabolic changes resulting in retarding growth and eventually death may occur what are the prevention and that is monitor of ph apply line and flash pond bottom before stocking
and the sunburn disease due to excessive level of uv radiation from sunlight when fishes are stuck in shallow uncovered raceway under intense sunlight sign and symptoms of sunburn disease are development of gray folk matter focal circular ulcerative lesions on the top of the head pectoral fin dorsal and upper tail fin uh, tail fins tail fins uh, effect on host due to sunburn disease are ulcerative lesions may serve as portal entry for other pathogen and may result in secondary infection prevention and control for sunburn disease are place sun shade over the pond fish should be kept away from uv radiation stocking density should be maintained uh, the other one that is sixth one is uh, hypoxia or asphyxiation these are signs and symptoms are the affected shrimp show surface swimming and sudden mass mortality effect on host are prolonged respiratory distress leads to death and sublethal level may cause impairment of metabolism <coughs> resulting in growth retardation prevention and control are decrease stocking density monitor water temperature frequently and provide water at provide water aeration facility and water exchange <coughs>